Hey everyone, welcome to De Morvay's theorem. And so what this theorem is going to allow us to do is to expand or raise complex numbers to a power, okay? And it just so happens that complex number is going to be written in polar form. So here's the polar form of a complex number, and n is going to be a, a, an integer. So what this, this says is if we want to raise our polar form of a complex number to the n power, it's all, all you're really doing is raising your radius to the n power and multiplying your angle by whatever you're raising your complex number to. So let's go ahead and look at one example using De Morvay's theorem here. Okay, so here's our example. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and find 1 plus i root 3 cubed using De Morvay's theorem. So what you can look at here, okay, is a couple things. We're going to know that n is 3. It's the power, okay? So what we're going to do first is if we want to use De Morvay's theorem that z to the n equals r to the n times cosine n times theta plus i sine n times theta. We need to know r we need to know n, and we need to know theta. n is 3. r is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. We already have that too. Here's our a, here's our b. So we can go ahead and by substitution, we have 1 squared plus the square root of 3 squared. Okay? So we simplify that, we get root 4 which is now r is being equal to 2. So we've got r, we've got n, now we need theta. Theta comes from, if we go ahead and draw this out, we have 1, okay? And this value right here is going to be root 3, okay? And here's theta. So we have root 3 and 1. Using the tangent, we can go ahead and say tangent of theta equals opposite over hypot or uh, opposite over adjacent, which is root 3 over 1. That means theta is equal to pi over 3. Meaning, what angle gives me a tangent of root 3? It's pi over 3. Now we can go ahead and write, we know that z equals r, which is 2, times the quantity cosine of pi over 3, plus i sine pi over 3. We want to expand that. We want to multiply that. We want to cube that out. So now we're going to have, finally, z cubed, and that's equal to using r to the n, and so we're going to plug in n now. So we have 2 cubed plus or times cosine of 3 times pi over 3 plus i sine 3 times pi over 3. This simplifies to pi. Okay, so now we have 8 times cosine of pi plus i sine of pi. Well, cosine of pi is negative 1 plus 0i. Sine of pi is 0, so our answer is negative 8. So we have now found this value using De Morvay's theorem. Now you can plug this in on the graphing calculator, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But this is another way using De Morvay's theorem to find the value of this complex number in polar form using De Morvay's theorem. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.